And there was a mentor in college that took you under her wing and she checked a lot of other boxes, yeah. which gave you a bit of confidence in your own identity. Yeah. Talk to us about that. So her name is Barb and she is one of many mentors and angels um, who have been in my life. And I, there was something really amazing that Barb did that no one had really done until then. I felt for the first time seen. Mm -hmm. You know that feeling? And like she literally just saw me. She wasn't intrusive. She didn't make a big fuss about it. I didn't get the sense that she was taking pity on me or that she saw me as exotic or, or you know, kind of interesting in ways that were more about her. It was truly about me. I felt like she was the perfect example of generosity and love and mentorship. And she poured into me without trying to make me into her. Yeah. The other thing about Barb is that she's incredibly different from me, from her identity's point of view, right? So we have a 20 year age gap. She identified at the time as lesbian, she still does, which was brand new for me because I grew up in a religion where this was not even an option, right? This, in anything about you know, sexual orientation other than uh, uh, straight was not even an option. And so I didn't really have perspective about other ways in which identities played into people's lives. All I knew was I was this biracial kid that didn't fit anywhere, I was poor, I was a Jehovah's Witness. That's it, that's all I knew. And I also knew that I was just constantly othered everywhere I went and I didn't know where I was supposed to be. And that's all I knew, but I didn't really know how to explore that. And Barb did. And Barb had done this work and she had done her own really important work and she was continuing to do that. And she just kind of gently walked beside me, yeah. which was an absolute gift. And the other thing that she did is that she introduced me to the field of interculturalism. So this is a field that she had been studying in. She had also studied deeply um, topics related to leadership and management in organizational settings and also in community settings. And so I got to kind of sit side by side with her and learn about things that were intellectually part of her own journey and that I could not absorb enough. I was so in love with the idea of understanding how cultures work, that there are actual constructs around culture that are always present and that there are all these amazing things that make up culture that I love about culture. And there are also some of these things that are pretty painful sometimes and that I was experiencing and that she had experienced and that also constitute a lot of the ways in which people feel marginalized and or oppressed in the world. Yeah. That was so powerful for me to actually have a construct around and to put language to. And then practically to think about, now how could this turn into um, knowledge, wisdom, practical application that I could potentially bring into a career, yes. but also that I could help people bring into their own lives in really immediate ways, as in in their workplace lives. So Barb, Barb opened up the world to me and she also modeled for me how it is that I want to be able to kind of gently walk side by side with other people without trying to turn them into me, but instead kind of creating a path yeah. for people to go where they need to go. I also had the great opportunity to be the director of a human rights office for a city government. Um, and that was uh, a wonderful, amazing, another amazing um, mentor and angel, Alma, who positioned me to have uh, really close relationships with the then mayor of the city mm -hmm. to help me navigate relationships and then position me at 25 years old. That's crazy. As the director of a human rights <laughs> office where I was literally um, investigating and hearing complaints of discrimination and helping people navigate through those and being entrusted to do that important and incredibly confidential and incredibly sensitive work. We helped to create policy that made sure that hate crimes against people from the LGBTQA uh, plus communities are identified as such and punished as such and being held accountable as such as hate crimes. And so it allowed me to continue to understand how I could have an impact beyond just the identities that were my own personal identities or pain points or areas of trauma or oppression or marginalization and instead focus on 
where it is that I could think about having um, potential privilege that I have turn into a way for me to have power and presence and, um, and make advancements. Thank you.